What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Call the Damn Leads, the show by sales professionals for sales professionals. I'm your host, Drew B. Wilson. With more than two decades in the sales industry, I have seen it, heard about it, lived it, and I'm here to share all the crazy ass sales stories that we get working in the industry of sales and bringing something to the community that really gets me excited because here's the truth sales is sales is sales. There's a lot of different stuff out there that we can sell. There's a million ways to make a million dollars. The fun of it is getting to share within the community and talk about all of those crazy stories, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between. Today's guest, someone I'm very, very excited to have on. He's a personal friend. He and I have been working together for, I think, close to five years now. And today's episode is really about more than just sales. It's about understanding how important your health is and wellness is when it comes to being successful in sales. So I'd like you to help me welcome my friend, Mr. Dr. Matt Chalmers. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up, man? So, uh, so okay, so I've got, I've got my, I got my sales story for you, and it is, I think, hilarious and quite dark. Well, come so, on. With it. One of the, one of my buddies who's a CEO brought me in to do kind of a sales pitch to the, his whole C-suite about the executive physicals I do and the stuff like that. And he was like, if you can sell our, our accountant, our SCFO, he was like, everybody will do it. And I'm like, all right. So I go in and I explain the whole thing. We talk about calcium CTs, nickocardiograms, and the, the whole deal. And I talk about how, you know, this is the best way to figure out, you know, if you've got any issues with your heart or anything like that. And, uh, and I told him how much it is, the whole deal. And the guy goes, well, <clears throat> he's like, I get my cholesterol pulled. And I've seen my doctor, you know, every year, religiously, every six months. So. I don't think that this is something we need to spend this type of money on. And so we're good. And I was like, all right, fine. Yeah. Cause I don't chase people. Like that's one of the weird things is that like, if your health, if you don't care enough about your health to do something about it, I'm not going to try to convince you to pay me and to care about yourself. So I just, I'm like, cool. Whenever you guys decide it's important, call me back. So about four months later, I get a call from the CEO and he's like, all of us want you to come back and do your entire physical for everybody on the C-suite. And I was like, all right. And I was like, what made you change your mind? The guy who told me that we didn't need to do it had a heart attack. And sure. had we been able to done the echocardiogram with calcium CT, we would have found it. We would have kept him from having the heart attack. So, you know, it's one of those things that, like, it was a really easy sell. Once I said, if you do these things, you'll know if you're going to have a heart attack. And he was like, we don't need that. And then the dude literally has a heart attack, like, a couple months later. So that was my favorite sales story because that, that like, office – not only got them, I got like four or five other offices that they're all friends with. So it was a, it was a great, great day because I got like 20 or 30 sales out of it. And luckily the guy did survive. We were able to help him kind of go back to health. But that was just the thing. It was, you know, that was just the, my favorite thing because it's like, hey, the guy who, the sales guy who came and told you all this stuff, the expert you had come in and explain all this stuff to you. And you were like, man, that's just sales trash. That's not real. <laughs> and then like, immediately we find out no it's not sales stuff it's real so that was my that's my favorite story that i've got so far that is absolutely hilarious and you know divine timing i shared a meme earlier and i'm gonna have to cut it into this clip and it's it's two parts but it's basically the first part is hey you chose not to move forward and then the second part is and you're still having the same problems and it's just so perfect for this scenario because like thankfully the guy died, didn't die, right? He, he survived. He made yep. it on. But, like, what an awareness to have something like that happen. And if you're in sales, there's two things to take away from this. A, you can't fucking predict the future. Like, I love you, but you can't predict the future. There's just no – I don't care how healthy you feel, how healthy you might be. If you are not regularly checking the oil and getting yourself tuned up, you are 100% setting yourself up for failure and also, being someone personally who has had my addictions in life, whatever they may be, uh, caffeine especially being one that I'm a big fan of these days, you know, the idea of protecting your heart and, and not wanting to have a heart attack. I mean, sales is one of the most stressful jobs in the world. So, Matt, what was it that made you really get into selling this service and, and protecting high C-suite level executives because, I, I mean, we've talked about it, but I'd, I'd love the listener to understand how important this truly is. 
So <clears throat> basically what a lot of this came back from for me was I wake up at four and I do research and I just read medical research and I've done it for over a decade, uh, at least two hours a day. And I started finding all these things that I was like, why am I not doing this? And then, you know, so I would go out and I'd get the sleep study and that's how I figured out how to fix epilepsy and stuff like that. And so, you know, I was like, oh, I need to do this for me. And, oh, I need to do this echocardiogram for me and for my kids and stuff like that. And so I started, as I do this research and I start figuring out, we, we know how to prevent things. We know how to look now to look at the future. The difference is that insurance will only pay for a problem once you've got it. And most of the time, mm -hmm. if you have a heart attack, you have one because the first heart attack you have kills you. And so I was like, well, I don't want to walk down that road. My grandfather died of a heart attack. My, you know, I've got family members, so I'm going to look into this. And I found out how easy it was for a vet. And I was like, oh, all you have to do is just pay cash for this stuff. And you can get all this stuff, all these tests done. So I put this together, uh, more of a, just the stuff that I've done for me, because, you know, it was important. And the research was very, very obvious on the, the massive benefits. And so I was like, well, I'm just going to do these things for me. And then people started coming up to me and like, hey, what do you do? Like, what do you do for you? And I we gave them the list and they're like, why did you do all this? And I broke it all down for them. They're like, oh, well, I want to do this. And so that's kind of how it started, you know, building up was, it's kind of like, do you need a McLaren? No, the, the, the Honda Accord gets you from point A to point B. But if you want the very best of everything, the best brakes and the best, you know, everything, you kind of step up to that, to that level. And until you get to that level, you don't really know how nice it is, but yeah, we found, we did calcium CTs that looks for plaquing in the arteries. And I found, I found a cyst growing around a guy, a tumor growing around a guy's heart that would have killed him. And, Jeez. you know, I sent him to my cardio, cardiothoracic surgeon, had it cut out. It's funny because he, my cardiothoracic surgeon calls this guy and he goes, you're going to be in my office on Tuesday for surgery. And he goes, Tuesday, my patient goes, Tuesday doesn't work great for me. And he goes, I don't think you understand. He's like, this is going to wrap around your heart and kill you. Maybe next week, maybe a month from now. Don't know, but it's soon. And so he had to go and had it all cut out. And he was like, oh, my gosh, that was a big, big piece of chunk of stuff that was wrapped around my heart. So the big thing is if we don't look, we don't know. And, you know, there's a lot of things like diabetes is super easy to fix, but it's even easier to fix if I know about it coming into it. So if we look for it, we're like, you're walking down the road of insulin sensitivity or insulin resistance to diabetes. I can fix it today a whole lot easier. So, you know, that's just the thing is if we look today, find the problems today, we can fix them today. You know, Matt, that's so beautiful because it correlates so well to sales, right? As sales professionals, our job is to ask questions, get a feel for what someone's doing, going through, dealing with, and then put something in place to preventatively not get them the thing that they don't want. It's like, hey, you don't want to lose your business? Well, let's get you some leads so you can call the damn things and make more money. Oh, you, you yeah. don't have a process? Well hey, let's install a process so that you know there's consistency with every lead and you can track every dollar you spend with an ROI to it. It's like, hey, man, every time you go out to eat, you, you pick something healthy instead of getting deep fried fast food. And I know sales is sales. I love Taco Bell. I love convenience eating. That is the way I roll. Don't get me wrong. I'm not perfect. I do recognize, though, that the 300-pound version of myself was not nearly as successful, did not have near the energy, and didn't truly have the confidence that the 200 ver 200 pound version of myself does today. And that all comes from having someone who's like, hey man, here's your choices. You, you can keep doing what you're doing and getting the same results that you've been getting, or we can make a couple of small changes and, and see what happens. And, and these are the expected results. And the expected results also include not dying, not letting some other asshole sleep in your wife's bed in your home that you paid for and raising your children because you were too much of an asshole to go and get a test done. And it's like, well, and that one's, that I one's, guess that's a sale. The, the last part of that is the biggest one for me. Because, like, you know, if it was just as much as, you know, and everybody who knows me knows my, my feelings about how unbelievably amazing Lou is. But, you know, if I died, I know Lou's going to be fine. That's not that big of a deal. My whole terrified thing is I'm not gonna, I don't want anybody else to raise my kids. I want, that's, that's my job. I want to do it. And so, you know, the other thing is, is that, you know, you, one of the things I heard a long time ago that I've found is probably the most true thing about raising kids is that kids don't listen to what you say. They watch what you do. And so if you want your kids to be healthy, you got to be healthy. If you want them to read, you got to read. You know, if you want them to, if you want them to be good to their, to their, their future wife or husband or whatever, you have to model that at home. And so that was my big thing. It's like, look, I want my kids to be healthy. I want them to know what's going on. 
And so I have to I have to embody that. I have to be the example. Otherwise, we're not going to get where we want to go. And so that was the that's been the real big thing for me is whenever I think about something and I'm like, do I really want to do this? It's always like, well, who's watching me? Well, Zane and Lace are watching me, and then they 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 repeat stuff I've said. I didn't even know they were listening to. So yeah, Damn that's kids. that's a scary <laughs> scary thing. But you know, at the same time, it's I want my I want the best for my kids, so I'm going to model the best for my kids. And that's been that's a that's a personal decision that I made. You know, and that's when it's been you know reading all the psych, reading all the love languages things, learning to communicate. You know, that whole thing, the NLP stuff that you know I do. You know. All that type of stuff, just so I can better communicate with my kids and teach them that you know they've got to keep walking down this road, you know, and better themselves continuously. You know, that's that's just been one of the things that I've done. That again, that drives me more than anything is what my kids are saying, what, what my kids are going to be. Man, that's so so true, and such a great point because as professionals, our job is to be leaders, and. If you've ever been in sales for any length of time and tried to raise a sales team, it's like working with a bunch of freaking toddlers. And in my opinion, if you can teach your kids at home to behave, have manners, operate by core values, and and lead the way that you operate because you're 100% right, man, it's like they're going to watch what you're doing. And whatever you're saying don't mean shit if you ain't following that same thing with your actions. Words mean nothing if the actions don't match. And kids are like perfect at spotting that which is why it happens when you start training a sales team. If you're on your training your sales team and you, hey, you gotta make 100 calls a day, you gotta make 100 calls a day, but you only pick up the phone 10 times, what are they gonna do? They're yeah. gonna pick up the phone 10 well, times. You know, it's That's funny because it. <laughs> you know, every once in a while as a parent, you, your kids say something and you're like, yeah. So the other day, my son asked, because I was, doing a, I was doing a fast, I was doing a Sunday to Thursday fast, and he asked me, he was like, do you want me to make you a burger? And I was like, sorry buddy, I'm fasting till Thursday. And he goes, that sounds really hard. And I was like, ah, it's not easy. And he goes, that must be why you like it, because you like to do hard things. And I was like, that's mm. right. And I go, why do I like doing hard things? And he was like, because nothing great ever came from something easy. And I was like, yes. Like, I was like, that's right. I walked into my room and I was sort of crying. I was like, yes, yes. He's learned something yes. from me. Like, I've done something right in the parenting category. So that was that was a lot of fun. So that was, that was a big deal awesome. for me. So. Yeah, I love that. that. And, and, you know, Matt, that's one of the things, too, I appreciate about you and why I'm so glad you were able to come on and join me on the show, man, because you are in a unique industry, right? You're in the health and services and, and you don't really work with a lot of insurance. So people pay top dollar to work with you and to get the services you provide because it is truly about preventative health. It's about, hey, where are you now and what can we do to long create longevity versus Hey man, you're all fucked up. Here's a band aid. Let's get let's get you back into the battle. It's like no, no. We need to fix this so that you can go back to war for the long term. And yeah, you have some things that you're working on right now. Some some kind of special. I don't know what the word is, but some some things that you're working on as far as giving back to the community, right? Some projects. That was the word I was trying to pull out. Some projects where you're giving back to the community. You're going deep on truly helping sales professionals and and business owners get clarity and, and dial in on, you know, health and wellness for themselves and for their team. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So, um, what, so it's kind of an interesting story. So we developed a sublingual strip for cannabis. So we have it on Delta eight, so we can ship it across, you know, 30 different States. And we basically made it for pain so we could push back against the opioid epidemic. And I did a Ted talk on it and it was fun. And my business partner was giving me a little grief and he was like, Hey man, He's like, you figured out how to fix the pain portion. He's like, if you can just figure out the addiction piece, you've got this opioid epidemic solved. And it was all funny and ha ha ha. So I was like, all right. And so, of course, the guy I am, I'm like, all right, let's go see if we can figure out how to fix addiction. It took me about a week or two. Yeah, exactly. It took me like a week or two to find out, man, we figured out how to fix addiction, PTSD, depression, anxiety, all sorts of stuff in the 60s. But the, the pharmaceutical companies and the World Health Organization put a black box on it and said it moved all psychedelics and stuff to schedule one so we could no longer do research on it. Uh, well, and then they rolled out all their monoamine theory and all their drugs for anxiety and depression, stuff like that. But, you know, and so I start reading this stuff and, you know, we can use things like ketamine and psilocybin really amazingly safely to go through and break PTSD and break addiction and stuff like that. And so the more research I did into it, the more validity I found in it. And then I did it myself and, 
one of the things that you know, I didn't, I don't really talk about because until now there's no point was I apparently had some PTSD when I was in college and my heart rate was sitting in the nineties all the time. Nobody could figure out what's going on, all sorts of stuff. And then whenever I went through COVID, because I figured out how to fix COVID, we were pulling people out of hospitals to work on them and stuff like that. Uh, I got COVID I real bad a couple of times. And so my heart's been messed up for about two and a half years, since about 2021. 20, when I'd lay down, I would beat way too hard. And echocardio, I, I, everybody look at it, all my bodies, and nobody could figure it out. So before I decided I'm going to do ketamine, I'm going to push ketamine, tell everybody about it. I was like, I'm going to do this first because, and I realize not everybody feels this way, but if I'm not willing to do it to myself, I don't feel like there's a lot of integrity with me being like, you should do it for you. So I went, I was going to do it first. It was, it was, it was fine. Like not something I would do for fun. I don't know why people do it for fun, but you know, and I got nauseous afterwards and I felt kind of bad. I get home and I'm, I go to lay down and I lay down. And when I lay down, it was the first time in like two, yeah, two and a half years where my heart didn't feel like it was beating too hard. So I go to sleep that night. I was like, well, that's cool. I wake up the next morning, my pulse, my heart rate's in the seventies for the first time I've seen it in almost 20 years. And so I was like, all right, this is more than just, you know, I feel good or whatever. And that's when I learned how much, how powerful this stuff is. And so we started using it with uh, veterans and first responders and we're fixing their PTSD and fixing their addictions and stuff like that. And I was like, man, this is one of those things that when you find out about it's you got to do whatever you can to push it out. So what I decided to do was the Seawell store, which is where all my supplements are and stuff like that. I'm donating 100% of the profit from that to my charity, which is citizenminds.org. Uh, and then we're going to use that money to pay for first responders, so that's police and fire, uh, paramedics, and veterans to go through so we can break their PTSD. You know, we're looking at a point where, you know, I think it's 22 guys a day kill themselves um, from PTSD and depression and stuff like that from our veterans group. And it's it's just as bad, if not worse, for our first responders, because who do you think fishes the four-year-old kids out of swimming pools? You know, who, who goes to the car wrecks where people are burned to death? Like our first responders have to see that day in and day out. And they kind of choose to put themselves between that trauma and us to pr help protect us. And so I was like, man, we gotta, we gotta give back. So all the money from the Seawell store that we make goes to the charity so we can start fixing these guys. So we're using psychedelics like psilocybin. We're using ketamine to go through and fix these guys. But the big thing is we're, I'm teaching these guys how to do the set, the setting and the intentions. So these medications are amazing by themselves, but if you can learn how to use them properly, how to get your mind right, it does a tremendous amount of good for them to carry all the way through. So that's what we're doing with, you know, the Seawell store and stuff like that. So the nice thing is if you're already buying supplements from GNC or Walmart or wherever, get them from our store and know that the rest of that money is, it's, you're going to get great supplements, but the rest of that money is going to go to help a lot of people. So that's, that's the big push we're going right, with right now. Man, there's so many great things about that. And again, I could give a million ways, reasons why I love you so much, Matt. But the, the idea of, A, hey, you know, there's all of these things out here that we are, as sales professionals, using to self-medicate because we don't want to go see a doctor or we're not in a state where it's legal to go and get these things. And so we kind of find this methodology of home home service. But really, the bigger part of that, man, is the the first responders the the veterans the the folks that are out there on the front lines i find and personally have worked with so many from those fields who end up in sales because they don't necessarily fit into your typical corporate job right and so maybe it is some of that ptsd and some of the mindset of just dealing with things that honestly most humans on this planet aren't capable of dealing with and so there are those few individuals who go above and beyond, like the first responders, as you mentioned, that they have to see these things and deal with this. And there's really, I mean, it's hard to work through that. And so we do find that the self-medication and all that becomes a big deal. But the fact that there are ways that we can truly treat these problems and, and help people move past it for good versus just consistently putting a Band-Aid on it every day, smoking joints or drinking to the end of a bottle, it's so amazing that you've been able to go back and say, hey, listen, this already exists. It's not anything new. It's not like we're having to create something, some brand new idea. It's like, hey, this already exists. We've proven it. And one of my favorite things that you say, and this is big for me in sales and selling any product or service, is you did it for you first. You're like, hey, I yeah. will not sell this to someone. I will not give it to anyone unless I wholeheartedly believe in it and have proven and done it with myself. And to me, Matt, 
that is one of the greatest levels of integrity for a business owner and a sales professional is knowing I wouldn't sell this to you if I wouldn't use it myself. So I love that about you, man. That's just fantastic. And, and honestly, this whole movement that you're on of trying to help break addiction and, and end the opioid crisis, man, there's there's so much good that I know is going to come from that in these coming years that that's why I wanted to bring you on and share and make sure people know, hey, if you're buying supplements, get them from the Seawell store. Like they're, they're better quality, probably the same price that you're paying, and you know that any profits are going to help people who truly need it that are probably going to be there to help you in your time of need. So, man, that is just freaking awesome. Well, you know, I've had to be cut out of my car once, almost twice. Uh, and, you know, life flight into Parkland. So these guys had to take care of me. Um, they've had to take care of my family members, my friends. And, you know, now that I've started meeting, a lot of these guys are real are, are buddies of mine. And I just feel bad for them that, you know, there's not a whole lot of help. Like, if you look at what happened in Dallas a couple of years ago with all the shootings uh, where they started shooting cops, there's a lot of guys who never got really the proper care for that. Like, they got to talk about it, and that's helpful. But, you know, I want to walk through and be like, come on, guys, let's let's walk through this properly. Let's use some psilocybin, let's use some ketamine, whatever, whatever the state's going to allow us to use, and we'll get you guys better. If the ketamine doesn't work here, well, let's, why don't we fly a bunch of you guys to Colorado for a weekend or two where we can do psilocybin, and we'll walk through that. Because not everything works for everybody. Like, the research shows ketamine's 85% of the time is going to get you where you want to go. But that means 15% of the time we got to find something else. And so that's where we start walking through some of this stuff. And it's been spectacular being able to help these guys. Uh, we're going to start posting on the on the citizenminds.org. And then obviously on all my social, the Dr. Chalmers number one, just the Dr. Chalmers one. Uh, we're going to be posting all these videos of these guys who, you know, we've done the podcast with them. They talk about how, how rough things were. And then after we went through it, how much it's benefited them. And so, you know, that's, and that, I want everybody to see it. My goal is to get to the point where we, we po post one video, one new video a day. So that means we've got to help at least 400 of these guys a year to get these things ready to post up. And so, you know, some of these things are a couple thousand dollars we got, you know, to get these guys fixed. So it's a big, it's a big deal. We're asking for a lot of cash, but at the same time, like I said, if you want to donate, donate. But if you, if you're just buying supplements for you, for you and your family, Get them from us, and then, like I said, it'll really help a lot of people. So, yeah, and that's that's been a, that's been a real fun, real fun thing to start walking down because everybody I've talked to has been like, "How can I help?" And it's been really beneficial. And so that's why you know I reached out to you, and you're like, "Come on, my podcast. Let's get it knocked out. Let's tell as many people as we can, and hopefully they'll tell as many people as possible." So, you know, I told Ryan, and he was like, "All right, you know, Ryan," and he's like, "I'm gonna hook you up with all my guys. He's like, I'll get you with Drewby. I'll get you with Jose. I'll get you with everybody." He's like, "We'll get it all squared away." He's like, and then we'll do some stuff of, or with my stuff as well. And I'm like, all right, cool. So, but yeah, it's been really beneficial. Like, that's why I love working with the guys from Apex because, you know, everybody there is just, we're going to get the work done and we're going we're gonna to make sure people, we make positive change. And so that's why I'm so happy to be part of the group. Hey man, and we're honestly, you know, happy to have you. And, and why I love being a part of it as well. I mean, more than anything, the community is about helping people. Whether you're, you know, in sales or you're in, in, you know, a corporate position, whatever it is, there's things that you're going through in your life where being around a community of like-minded, success-driven individuals can truly be a benefit. And, you know, Matt, you've been an amazing example of that. You've gone way above and beyond. You're always pouring back into the community. You're always making a point to share this knowledge and this wisdom. And, you know, I can say from personal experience, the products that you create top notch my friend the sublingual strips if you guys are listening to this and you're into the you know the the smoking side of things this guy has created a strip that is very very powerful very very high quality and it doesn't smell there's no residual effects you can use it and be free to carry on about your day and take care of business so if that's the thing you're into i may or may not you know vouch for the fact that they're really really good emphasis on the may because i like them so go and order some. And, and again, more than anything, Matt, the, the reason I love working with you is everything that you're doing is about giving back to the community. That's what this show is about. Sharing crazy sales stories, sharing some tactics and some things that can help people. And, you know, I'm very, very conscious of time. I know time is your most valuable asset, my most valuable asset, and everyone here's. So two things I want to do before we get out of here. One, I want to tell you how much, again, I appreciate you, man. And, and what is the best way for people to find your store? Um, I'll make sure we have all the links in the show notes and everything. But you said citizensmind.org. And then what's the wellness store for the supplements? Uh, C Well Store, just the letter C, W-E-L-L-S-T-O-R-E.com. 
you can hit there. You can do, you know, the chalmerswellness.com, the Seawell source on that as well. Um, and then if any of you guys have websites and you're like, hey, add your Seawell store link to my website, we can. And then what the nice thing is because we can track it, I can then go back and be like, hey, because of the link from your website, 10,000 people bought stuff last year. And so here's, you know, and 1,000 people donated money. So here's, you know, $100,000 in tax deductions that came from you. You put it on your website. Come on. Dude. Came through to us. Here's here's the 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 receipt for the for the donation. So we can do that as well. So you know anybody who wants to get you know any of that stuff together, you know get a hold of me through DM, whatever. Just like I said, Dr. Chalmers one on all the socials, and um, you know we'll be able to put it together because I think together we can all work together really well. It doesn't take a whole lot if you're buying a hundred or two hundred dollars worth of supplements for your family a month, and a thousand guys get together and choose to do that as well. We're going to help a lot of people, and so you know everybody's like, "Well, it's not. I'm not going to help out." Yeah, you are. You're 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 two or three hundred dollars a month with a giant help. You know, if you tell your friends, "Hey, if you're taking supplements, get them from here, and we can be able to help people as well." And then just follow me on the social media, and you get to watch. You know what happens when we start getting these guys better. You get to see it all the time, and so that's that's the biggest thing is we all get to work together on this, and you get to see actually what happens. A lot of times you give money to charity, and you're like. I mean, I hope it's going to where it's supposed to go. I hope it's helping people. But in this case, it's like, no, we're going to be, that's the, one of the things I, I, I don't demand, but I highly request is to do podcasts before and after. So people can see, you know what, that did help me. And the thing which we get into with our veterans and stuff, and stuff like that is when you hang out with these guys long enough, they're, a lot of these guys are your stereotypical, like, hard asses. And so they're like, <laughs> oh, that works for somebody else, but that's not going to work for me. And so the idea is once they see like 20 videos and they're like, oh, well, work for all those guys. Maybe it'll work for me and they'll be able to go and, and try it out. So now I will tell you the other thing, if you are a sales professional and you're, you're struggling with stuff, this isn't just for guys who've been in combat or just guys who are, who are fishing kids out of pools. Like the number one thing we see is we see a slow, like that constant pressure. I've got to make my number. I've got to do this. My kids need this. I got to do this over here. That constant pressure will wear down on you. And it's a phenomenal thing for you guys to do. Like a lot of my guys who are sales professionals, who are, you know, just, you know, CEOs, just crushing it. They'll do ketamine on a quarterly basis just to keep their mind focused and everything sharp. So everybody can do it. It's just the charity is specifically for these guys. And I would highly recommend everybody who hasn't done ketamine, hasn't done some of the psychedelic stuff, get with somebody who knows what they're doing and get it done. It is wildly beneficial to your life. Yeah, do it with a professional. Don't call Jose up the street and get the bag of mushrooms and go ham at the cabin. That's not the same setting, although it can be fun. I've been there, done that many times. It's not the professional setting we're talking about. What what Matt's talking about is truly having like a, a real process to getting a result with these these treatments. And that's the whole thing, right? That's what it really correlates back to sales is that when you have a good process and you do things in the right order with the proper expectations, you can get amazing results. And when you get amazing results, people are going to show up and go, hey, man, how do I get those amazing results? Which is all of Matt's story. Hey, I went and I did the thing. It worked for me. People asked me about it. I told them to do it. It worked for them. Now we're creating an entire opportunity to help individuals across the world. And I know I, for one, will 100% be putting this up putting that store on there, making sure we have a link from the Call the Damn Leads page so that we can send people to the, the Sea Wellness because I know this is something I've seen friends of mine personally benefiting from going through these treatments. And so I'm very excited to help and, and promote this. And the last thing that I want to do before we get out of here, if you have a crazy sales story, if you've been in sales and you've seen some crazy shit, I want you to come on the show. I want you to share your story. I want to help you put your mission out there. Guys like Matt, come on here because they want to help the world. And I know if you're listening to this, it's because you care and you want to help your community too. So head over to callthedamnleads.com forward slash podcast. You're going to be able to put your information in there, share a little bit about your story. We'll set up a time to come on and share the show. If you like this, Hit subscribe, share it with your friends, take some screenshots, put some clips out there, tag at Call the Damn Leads, and more than anything, make sure you go follow my man Matt and get involved with this movement because he is truly helping people change lives, and I am so grateful that I get to be a small part of this. So thank you again, Matt. Absolutely, man. Thanks for having me on. You got it, brother.